Hi guys, welcome to Gigi Han channel and today we are going to look at Silesium, the first made in Malaysia COVID-19 rapid antigen test kit. For your information, this is for home self-testing only. If you are tested positive, please update your self-test result in My Sejahtera and also contact your nearest government clinic or hospital and you may need another round of PCR test for confirmation if you are tested positive with this test kit. Let's check the kit component. The first one, we have disposable swab in sterile packaging. We have two of them. Number two, we have self-extraction buffer tube and dripper. Number three, we have paper rag. We also have test device which is sealed in foil pouch. And also the last but not least, we have the paperwork which is the instruction for use. You are also required to have a clock or timer and before you start the test, you are required to wash your hands with hand soap and water or at least hand sanitizer for cleaning your hands. Before starting the swab test, do not eat, smoke, chew or drink any beverages apart from water. Now let's start the test. First, open up the plastic bag, peel off the aluminium seal of the extraction buffer tube and place it on a rack. Be careful not to pour out the liquid from the tube. Then we start swabbing. Remove one disposable swab from the sterile packaging. Remember, avoid touching any surface or object and do not touch the fabric tip of the swab. Then we swab the fabric tip on the inside of your left cheek, between the cheek and the gum, by rubbing up and down for at least five times. Remember, avoid tongue, teeth and gums. Do the same step on the right cheek by rubbing up and down for at least five times. And using the same swab, swab the palate for five times. Again, remember to avoid tongue, teeth and gums. Put swab one into the extraction tube containing the buffer liquid. Then we move on to swab number two. Remove another disposable swab from the sterile packaging. Remember to avoid touching any surface or object and do not touch the fabric tip of the swab. Now we start the farm part. Insert only the fabric tip of the swab gently into one nostril until you feel a slight resistance, about 2 cm up into your nose, and then dig your own nose. Roll the swab around the inside of the nostril, making five complete circles. Then repeat the same steps with the other nostrils. Dig your nose again. After you are done digging your own nose, put swab number 2 into the same extraction tube. And then you immerse the swab heads into the extraction buffer completely, vigorously mix at least 10 times. Before you remove the swabs, squeeze the liquid from both swabs to keep the solution in the tube as much as possible and then discard the swab. To dispose the used swab, you put them in the waste bag provided and seal the zipper completely. Cover the tube with dripper head firmly and mix the sample solution thoroughly. Now let's do the test. Please note that testing should be performed immediately after the specimen has been collected because samples are stapled up to only 30 minutes when kept in the extraction buffer provided with the test kit. Now let's start. Gently tear open the pouch and remove the test cassette. Lay the cassette on a clean, flat work surface. Label the test cassette with the sample name if you are doing the test for more than one person. Add two drops of the sample solution to make the sample well. Make sure there is no air bubbles. Sample will start waking up the membrane slowly. Read the results within 10 to 15 minutes and do not interpret result after 15 minutes. Not following this procedure can lead to inaccurate results. Alright, result time. How do we read? The result. Just like a pregnancy test, if you have only one line at the C level, then congrats, you are not pregnant. I mean, you are COVID negative. What you need to do is you must still continue to practice social distancing, do your regular hand washing, and wear a face mask. If you have two lines at C and T level, this is an indication that you are positive for COVID 19. You should self quarantine immediately. Update your status in My Sajatra and contact your nearest government clinic or hospital. You may be required to do another round of PCR tests to confirm your results. If you don't get any lines or if you have only one line at the T level, 
What you need to do is you should repeat the test by using a new test cassette. Once your test is complete, put all the used test kit contents in a seal bag and throw in your general household waste. Right, that's all for this video. Hope you all stay safe and well and healthy and I will see you in the next video. Bye!